Okay, um, this is a video demonstrating how to pull and then reset this alarm. So, I have in here a uh, homemade stopper, or whatever you call it, whatever you want to call it. Um, it's plastic, and it works. So, we'll just use that. Fire alarm. So, we'll, I'll demonstrate to pull it. So, the bar broke, as you can see. So now, you flip the top of the alarm back down, and then you would get another piece, and then you just put it right in. Just like that, and then you close it back up, and now you would pull it, like I just did. Let me just get another piece for you, quickly. I basically just use a pen cap. The plastic on the pen cap works fine. Um, or Sharpie. Whatever you want to use. So, let's open it up. We we'll slide this piece of red plastic in there. And then we'll close it back up. And then you'll pull it, like I'll do right now. Do it on my desk right here. So then you would pull this like that. Obviously, not that hard. <laughs> but since this stop stick uh, thing is already not totally broken in half, we'll just use it over and for the next time. Yep, so that is a demonstration on how to pull this alarm and reset it. Um, this is a very old alarm. Again, uh, this is from Acme Fire Alarm Company in Elmhurst, New York. So, um, oh, this is a 620 something, <laughs> as you can see right there. This was on the seventh floor, and this was in fire uh, zone D. <clears throat> and this is all on number 33. And I would just put money on there. Yep. So that's this alarm. And now, as you can see, I can't really pull it. And also, by the way, I put I resharpied these lighters so they're nice and dark again. <laughs>